Hello people, in this video we want to look at how to read medicine. So uh, when we are saying medicine, we are actually talking about um, the subject in uh, MBBS final year, general medicine it is called as. Under it you have dermatology and psychiatry which is uh, covered in the same textbook, no need to buy separate books for these and these two are very small portion of your general medicine. Okay. So um, general medicine you will have theory exam and uh, 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 clinical. Clinical means practical that is you will be given a real patient and uh, you will have to talk to them, take the history and find out which what problem they have. We will look at all that in detail. Now just look at theory. Theory you can have uh, paper 1 and paper 2 and uh, paper 2 usually will cover that dermatology, psychiatry and uh, something below your uh, 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 chest that is uh, abdomen, pelvis, GIT, urology usually that will come under paper 2. Okay. Then, uh, uh, then you will have theory viva also where they will cover uh, drugs you know like uh, uh, morphine and all they will give you an x-rays they can give you like some consolidation uh, in the lungs, instruments they can give you some IV cannula etc. Specimens they can keep of an emphysema lung or uh, any uh, any any um, organ, right? ECG they can give you and ask you to find out if it is uh, irregularly irregular rhythm, uh, uh, atrial fibrillation, etc. Okay. Coming to clinical, clinical means uh, practical that is case taking uh, in the hospital. So basically, you'll have one long case, two short cases probably. And uh, if your long case is, uh, it can be either nervous system or cardiovascular system or respiratory system or gastrointestinal tract system. And short cases usually will be whatever you didn't get in the long case. No, that systems they will give. Nervous system means usually you will have um, a stroke, an upper motor neuron lesion, etc. Uh, then uh, CVS, you can have rheumatic fever. Uh, respiratory, you can get emphysema, asthma, etc. Gastrointestinal tract, you can get... Uh, liver disease etc okay so these are this is the uh, general overall uh, exam pattern that we are telling you so uh, about each of this we will have to cover more in detail how's it going people we are in this video we are trying to cover how to read general medicine in your final year okay so basically um, one thing you should understand is this general medicine is just a culmination of what you have studied for four and a half years okay it, if you have focused four and a half years everything you will know Okay, you just have to little build up on it and very easy to score is in general medicine. If you remember your pathology, microbiology and all, you write that, you will get a lot of marks. So, did you understand? So, what is general medicine? It is a culmination of whatever you studied in the four years of your MBBS. Okay. So, now let us look at textbooks to buy for general medicine. For general medicine, the recommended book is uh, Davidson, guys, because um, Davidson is a very simple language with diagrams, very uh, exam oriented kind of book. Along with it, you can buy this kind of a companion, which is a question bank, actually, your university question bank, which will tell you the top priority questions from each chapter. Okay. And then uh, students use lot of these kind of books, which are uh, exam uh, uh, preparatory manuals. Uh, these I do not recommend because uh, uh, Davidson is more than sufficient. But the problem with uh, Davidson is you, it is very difficult to hold it. Okay, so just look at these prep manuals also from your library and decide. Okay, for clinical, for case taking, history taking, and all, you should buy these uh, clinics, bedside clinics and medicine. These books, okay, any any book like this, sir, uh, you can buy. Basically, these will give you complete picture. Like if you are uh, uh, having a, a patient who in the exam they give you an emphysema case, this book will tell you all the viva questions that they will ask you. So you will be completely prepared. Okay. So you will know um, everything. So what I'm trying to say here is guys, don't buy um, only Alagappan or any other book because the, you know, uh, these are all books don't give you viva questions. Okay. They don't give you that uh, complete picture about a uh, uh, disease. Okay. So please go with uh, these type of uh, clinical books. Okay. Now let's move on. So attend your clinics, listen in your theory classes, etc. Because whatever they are telling you will register faster in your brain. And whatever your classmates tell you, you hear from them, you know that they are saying something which you don't know. So it is very nice to uh, understand from your lecturers and your friends. When your friend sees it, it will register more in your mind. Okay, so that's why we are saying attend, attend your classes. Okay, then coming to top priority questions in general medicine. So these are the top priority questions that you have to read. Okay. These are the top priority questions in general medicine that they can ask you. Please look at the list. Poisoning, under infectious diseases, under nephrology, under cardiology, under respiratory medicine, 
under endocrinology under gastroenterology under hepatology under rheumatology under neuro neurology under oncology under dermatology and under psychiatry next uh, coming to uh, specific terms to know so basically anybody will write uh, if you ask them to explain um, um, asthma they will write 88 pages but somebody will give you one word like this mody you don't know what it is no so you will start uh, worrying what is mody so this is nothing but um, maturity onset diabetes in young right so these are the things you should know okay like uh, what is um, uh, this if you don't know what it is if you don't know d stands for diabetes then you will not be able to write anything in the exam you leave a blank page so that is why what we are trying to say is specific terms also you should know okay so um, everything we will cover in um, a separate video like we said now move on common terms tips and tricks so your paper should be filled with such things see anything they ask you know go with the flow chief complaint a history of presenting illness what are the uh, uh, personal details etc the same flow you can almost write in your theory paper also what investigations will you order the what are the types of this disease what are the pathogenesis then uh, what is the management treatment right manage treatment will come in the end right in treatment you will have conservative medical and then surgical are you focusing people so basically you are getting an overall idea as to how to handle your medicine paper right now draw diagrams people because when you draw diagrams it will um, show that you know exactly what you are talking about like when you are trying to draw um, emphysema right show the alveoli how they are all um, uh, you know the they have lost their elasticity their kind of broken septa etc so all that you should show um, draw, drawing diagram also uh, helps the examiner be interested in your paper so are you getting it so draw diagrams it will help you also write the whole story you know uh, because uh, if if it is about gi you know you write something about pancreas you want to write no then you will write everything surrounding it also you will build up one story complications means okay something will happen to stomach something will happen here it also helps your brain visualize and uh, you know build the story on that disease okay so that is why we are telling you to draw, draw diagrams okay see heart means you practice one heart okay very easy it is <clears throat> for anything to do with heart so this this beautiful diagram if you draw now the examiner will be very happy okay for anything to do with heart draw this diagram then you can show here the mitral valve is here okay the tricuspid valve is here the pulmonary vein uh, is here, here right the pulmonary pulmonary artery is here the aorta is here so if you write or if the, if you draw this diagram now the examiner will be really really happy to correct your paper so at least uh, passing marks if you want all this you should do okay next Uh, all the best. That's what it says. That means to say that you are done with uh, uh, this um, video. <clears throat> so, how to read medicine? We have covered. So, in the next video, we will try to look at the top priority questions for um, uh, in general medicine. So, that can be the, your revision video also.